What's up, YouTube? It's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and today I got a question from Wes, and his YouTube name YouTube name is W Curry One, and his question basically was how to chop up samples in Logic and play them out with a sampler, and I will be using the sampler in Logic, the EXS, and I'm gonna show you the way Just Blaze does it. Just Blaze taught me how to do it this way, so if it's good for Just Blaze, I'm pretty sure it's good for other people as well because he is truly amazing. Let's get to it. The first thing we gotta do before anything is find out the short key on our keyboard because it'll make life a lot easier if you have this. That actually cuts your audio file as Logic is playing. To find out what it is, hit Option K. This brings up the key commands menu. Type in by playhead in your search. Scroll down to you see split region events by playhead position. <laughs> split regions events by playhead position. Mine is the forward slash. Yours might be the backslash. If you wanna change it, just click what you want hit learn by key label hit the key on your keyboard that you actually want and there it is now what this does is as logic is playing you can actually chop up the sample just like you would in any other sampler now let's get to the fun part okay so now we're ready to actually chop up the sample our audio file that we recorded uh here's a little guitar loop that i have let's take a listen All right, first step you gotta do is select the audio file that you actually wanna cut. And by doing that, we know it's selected because it has this black bar here and it gets a little highlighted. And um, hit play in our keyboard and put your finger on the hotkey that we set to actually chop up the sample. And let's chop together. All right, I didn't do it perfectly, but I'm just doing it for the tutorial right now. If you do it rhythmically and a bit better than what I did there, you should be fine. Next step, I'll see you in the EXS sampler. All right, so let's open up our EXS sampler to drag in the samples and start playing on our keyboard or drum pads, whatever we have, we'll be able to play it. Let's do this. So I'm gonna open up an EXS sampler. Ooh, okay, again, came up on my other screen, just gonna drag it in. Go to edit. This will pop up. I'm just gonna make it smaller so I can fit everything on the screen. And close this. I'm gonna select all of my audio files and I'm gonna can't drag it onto the keyboard, but you have to drag it up to here. Now in Logic 9.01 and above, there's still the issue that when you do contiguous zones it doesn't break it apart into each separate key you actually have to do it all yourself and i'll show you right now why and how to fix that in this case if you watch my other tutorial you'll see a fix for it but when you're dragging audio files from within logic into the sampler it doesn't work with that fix there's a new fix i'll show you it right here now so do contingent con contiguous zones starting on c1 which it really doesn't it just drags it across the whole keyboard all right, so here's the problem in Logic 9.01 and above. What it does is it stretches the sample across the whole keyboard. Now, if you have Logic 8 or 9.0 Logic, it will separate each file onto a single key, and that's what we want. But for some reason, the new Logic and the new Logic updates are not fixing this problem, and it has to be fixed. Apple, so please, if you're listening, fix the problem because this takes a lot of time to actually separate each sample onto a separate key. It's doable, but it's it's slower. So here's what you have to do. You have to single-handedly do it yourself by hand, drag each sample onto a key. I chose the root key as C1, and from there I'm putting each sample that I chopped onto a separate key. All right, so what you wanna do is create a new group, throw all of these into the group, and this way you can change every single audio file as a whole. So in, up here in your top left corner, go to groups, put the polyphony to one. This way when you're playing out the keys on the keyboard, it's it'll play a lot better. And you'll if you play through the different polyphonies, you'll understand why. But I always just set my polyphony to one. And I take off the pitch as well. Because Logic will record 
the pitch information and set it to C1. So the pitch will be a little bit lower than what your actual sample is. Just take off the pitch. This pitch will be this exact same as the sample when you imported it. And that's it. Go to instrument, save your sample, and you're done. And then you'll end up with something like this. I'm just going to bring up my Logic Keyboard. And there it is, all my guitar samples, all nicely laid out on my keyboard. And that is how you chop up your samples and work with a, the EXS sampler in Logic. Thank you, Wes, for the question. If any of you guys have any other questions, please let me know. I'll try and post a video or I'll send a text response. And subscribe for more videos. The website is www.imamusicmobile.com. You can find all the tutorials there as well as other interesting, cool stuff. You'll find out if you go to the website. Take care, guys. Remember to subscribe. Peace out. Class is now out of session.